Okay, semi wilderness again. Um, just going over some of the things I've learned in the past past few days about different uh, tinders, both man-made and nature-made. I've uh, I've tried probably 30 or 40 different types of natural tinder, and probably five or ten different man-made tinders, and I've. You know, just based on my own personal preferences, I've came down to a few that I'm going to put in my kit and rely on. Uh, the main purpose of me doing these experiments is to find a good all-weather kit for fire starting. Uh, and the type of tinders that I'm going to be putting in that kit. And for me the tinders that I've decided on are cotton balls just plain old cotton balls they're not soaked in Vaseline or nothing but they are 100 percent cotton because you strike them one time and they turn into a flame and they burn long enough for you to get something on there and get a fire started. Now, if it was real windy or real wet, I suppose uh, putting some Vaseline or something on there might help. I don't know, I haven't experimented with that, but for me, that burns good enough just as it is. I don't need to get Vaseline all over me. And uh, I just put them in a pill bottle, stuff this chock full doesn't take up much room so that's man-made material number one the second thing and it it might pop to a flame or it might just ember but for me this is going to be more for uh, blowing a nest to flame is uh, cigarette rolling papers I just take like five of them and squish them up in a ball and it'll smolder good I try to squish it up nice and tight. I didn't squish that one up quite tight enough because I'm just kind of quickly doing this. But a cigarette rolling paper will burn and burn. And you have plenty of time to get that into a tinder bundle and blow it to a flame. And it does work. That's man-made material number two. Um, I don't put these in my kit, but a lot of times I have them when I'm out in the field, and that would be a napkin or a paper towel. They usually catch fire. I mean, if you think about it, if you're going to use cotton balls or char cloth, you could just use napkins, really. And that way you have a multi-use item. I mean, I can use a napkin to wipe my butt or blow my nose or wipe off my face. But I can't do that with a cotton ball or a piece of char cloth. And the napkin will burn for a good long time more than enough time for me to start a fire I think that's man-made number three man-made number four is 100 percent cotton char cloth I like using old denim jeans because they're nice and thick uh, uh, I'm not sure who said it but I saw in Bushcraft USA a guy mentioned using uh, cotton patches cotton I think cotton flannel plat patches for cleaning guns those work really good too I'm glad he mentioned that because it's a good thing 
This would be more for blowing a tinder bundle to flame. One strike, all you need is one tiny little spark and eventually that whole piece of char cloth will go up. It gives you quite a bit of time to uh, get that into a tinder bundle and blow it to flame. Unlike the mag bar, which only gives you maybe a half a second if you're lucky. Unless you scrape up a three inch pile of it and break your hand doing it. But that'll just burn and burn. Works real good. It's easy to make. Just get you a can that seals tightly. Put your cotton in there. Poke a small hole in the center. Throw it in a fire. You can just let it sit there for as long as you want. When you pull it out, let it cool completely and you have char cloth. You can leave it right in the same container and if you want, you can take a little wax like I did and seal up the hole so that it's fairly weatherproof. This can is for Crossman Premier air gun pellets. It works real good. Screw on lid. And if you do use the, uh, I think it's the two inch diameter uh, bore cleaning patches like the guy from Bushcraft USA recommended, they will fit right in here perfectly. And I did it once and I stuck a stack of like 20 of them in here and threw it in a fire. Came back like an hour later, I had 100% char cloth. It was real nice, worked real good. Uh, that's it for man-made materials. Those are the materials I'll be using. The rolling papers are nice because it's very small. You could put that in a Ziploc baggie or something or wrap it in a piece of saran wrap and it's entirely waterproof. Very good. The cotton balls are nice and they are somewhat a multi-use item uh, but I don't really like carrying a big container like this. But then again, that's what my char cloth's in. I usually pick one or the other. I don't, I usually try to keep two or three in my kit, but not all of them. These little pill bottles work pretty good. They're not waterproof, but uh, they do uh, serve the purpose as a somewhat weatherproof container. Next I'm going to go over the natural materials that I've decided on using.